All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with pH. All right, so it's like a 10.9, and that's the level one. I suppose I could, um, you know, speed up the the flow rate or something. 11.2 is the uh, level 2 and 11.4 is the level 3. And I really ought to show you St. Louis tap water because you know, sometimes people will look at those numbers and they'll say, whoa. Um, when, it, when it comes to ionization, <laughs> it, the point is you want to be able to bring the pH up from wherever your source water is. And so it really doesn't matter what your starting point of source water is, as long as it's above 7. If it's below 7, you would definitely want to mineralize it. But um, we're starting at a 10.4, so I just this is St. Louis tap water that it's sitting in right now. So I just want letting you know that, that that's our starting point, just as a side note. All right, so that's the pH. The ORP. So it's, uh, this is going to be over a negative 500 or stronger than a negative 500 for level 1. So I'm just going to call it somewhere here, negative 520, or negative, I know it's going up pretty fast. Oops, I just stirred it, it went down. I guess I just call it a 900, 500, negative 520, like I said before. That's probably pretty close. All right, negative 530. All right, now the level two. Looks, about, looks like around a negative 600 something. Negative 630, let's say. All right, negative 650. All right, and then level three. It's probably going to go up to like a negative 700, something like that. Now my original Angie water ionizer that I had for 15 years, and I thought it was the best thing I ever had uh, purchased from my family at the time, um, used to only get up to like a negative 250 ORP. So these newer models are just tremendous. It's, so it's over negative 700 ORP. And um, actually once I started, uh, switched to one of the newer ionizers, the Athena, um, I actually literally saw spider veins disappear from my leg. And that I attributed co completely to the negative ORP. So the negative ORP is an important feature. All right, the next ionizer here is the Nexus. And let me grab a picture. I have to try to figure out where the water source is coming from for this one. Okay, I believe this is it. Oops. Oh dear. All right, the Alka stream was accidentally on. All right, I found the water source. And one thing about the Nexus, it does have a water uh, flow control knob on it. So 
That's handy. Level three alkaline water selected. Level one alkaline water selected. And the Nexus is actually, I'll just show you while it's pouring. It's actually the newest model that I sell. And the prices are artificially held down right now. <laughs> so if you want a great deal, get this Nexus X Blue Ionizer. It's on sale uh, as an introductory sale price, $895. And I know people, when they... When, when all the various ionizers just came into the country, they have all had their various introductory sales. And they were some lucky people that got those awesome prices. Now this ionizer is actually used in hospitals over in Korea and Japan, so it's a pretty awesome ionizer. It's not a Chinese. It's Korean made. That's another point I'd like to make. Alright, so that's level one. Let me switch up to level two now. Level two alkaline water selected. And you just push the alkaline bu button a second time to make it go up to the next level. And I'll let it pour for a little bit. All right, and now I'm going to put it up to level three. Level three alkaline water selected. All right, I'll go ahead and get my sample. And that is pretty cool that you can turn it off right from the flow All right, so now I'll just go ahead and start testing the pH first, as I have been. Oh, oops, <laughs> I'm doing ORP accidentally. Hold on a second. Alright, so like a 10.2 pH, and that's level 1, and level 2, 10.7 pH, and level 3 is like 11.2 pH. It's a nice pH range. Alright, and next is the ORP. Looks like it's going to be better than negative 600 for level 1. It's really nice. You know, you know the most, I, I, I guess most people who would bring this ionizer in would probably price it up around uh, like about 1200 I think. So you would be getting a good deal if you purchased it right now. All right, negative 680. And then at level 2, negative 770. And then level 3, Probably going to get better than a negative 800, I'm going to guess. Yep, like a negative 800, let's say 10, something like that. Negative 810. All right, good. Well, that's um, some good, good numbers there for the Nexus. Now, we do have a couple of other non-electric ionizers, and really, I... Um, 
I probably will not show you the numbers for the um, Alka stream because the filter is in need of being changed. It wouldn't be fair really to show it. But I will show you the um, the way it works. <laughs> you can kind of see. Now it's not it's not portable by any means because you have to hook this up to your faucet and it requires that you put a diverter on your faucet just as if you had a regular electric ionizer. And and the way it works is, you know what, I'm just going to move this. <laughs> Hold on one second. Just getting a little bit of a mess here. All right, I'm just gonna move this over so we can see better. The, I want you to be able to see how the AlkaStream works. Alright, there is a button on the top of it and when you push it, it actually is pretty packed full of pressure. So I'm just going to show you. And it kind of splashes. <laughs> so that's something I don't like about it. Another thing is a little on the cheap side as far as this this um, spout. It, it just kind of un I'll show you later. I'm just going to push this in and that stops it. Now I my my mother-in-law actually used this Alka stream for about a year uh, but then she decided that she really didn't uh, want it after all. It was, it was a little bit of a hassle uh, getting, as you can see, it's a little bit difficult with turning it on and things like that. And this button kind of broke for her, so that was a little bit of a hassle. Another thing is this pulls out, and it, I, you know, I, I just don't know. It's a, it's not quite as well made, and there's no electric. There's no platinum. There's no particular reason, I think, why you would pay $399 for this. It's basically a filter housing with a, with a good filter in it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to test it, but it had similar results to the Well Blue Pitcher, and I actually really prefer the Well Blue Pitcher. If I'm going to tell somebody, hey, you know, you can't afford an ionizer, well, what should I recommend for you? I will recommend this. Because out of all of the non-electric uh, ionization uh, <laughs> mechanisms that I've seen, this actually works the best. It's not anything near as good as an electric, but I will show you what it will get. I'm just going to grab some water here and pour it in. You basically just pour the water into the top bin and I'm not going to pour that much in. i just pour some and then it filters through. Now if you fill that bin completely up it will take 15 minutes to filter through and what a lot of people do is they'll just you know put the fill this bin up. It, it actually, this bin holds two liters and the bottom part holds, uh, oh wait a minute, hold on. No, this bin holds a liter and a half and the bottom part holds two liters or something like that. The bottom holds a little bit more than the top <laughs> anyway. Um, but you basically can filter about a liter or a liter and a half at a time. And that, for one person or two people, it's fine. If you had a whole family or you were trying to share the water with people, this would not be a good solution at all because the filter itself is not suitable for that much filtration during the day. I, my, my original testing of this uh, was, it, it was great ionization for the, first like eight, you know, if you gave it a break 
first thing in the morning it was great then if you gave it a break for about an hour and a half with no filtration then it would also be good and then after that it if you gave it another break it'd be fine etc I'm just going to move this <clears throat> so that I can get my sample to test to show you. All right, so let me just show you the pH. And keep in mind that that 10.4 is your starting pH for St. Louis. Now, so it does raise it up a little bit, like 10.8, which is great. That's all you would need. All right, and then ORP-wise, it and this is this is what the Alka Stream will do as well. It'll give a very nice, or actually, yeah, I think the Alka Stream did uh, do as well as this. So you know, about a negative four hundred ORP.